great uprising, great uprising. Again, great uprising. Only because knowledge are increased. So the awareness, you know, will follow so. Um, great uprising. Free people. Must uh, salute to the truth seekers and the ones that will bring the information where address this specific area known as the Western Hemisphere only because it consists of one continent which is America and because of the waterway it may be presumed as two continents hence the term Americas and this is before the invading colonizers create their legal construct so we salute the people who bring the information for say listen yes you have Africans over there and you have Americans here you have Australian there and you have the Neanderthal or the Netherland type of people from north. You know what I mean? So there is a distinction. And through the passage of time, you have what is known as miscegenation, which is the mixing of the seed and the mixing of the breed. The very same, you know, sir. Foreign conduct persists today, meaning it's still extant, still existing. Hence, I'm gonna present the Roman census. This is why I'm gonna say fire bun for your census. Yeah, man. And we're gonna step forward again and say salute, honor, respect with complete, complete gratitude to the truth seekers out there and the truth speakers out there but so we know the adversary is deceptive so when you have truth then we come with you know for them information guy is in as truth this is why Man, we are bring the accusation. Need to verify. Team claim. Where is the victim? Where is the injury, damage, or wrong? Where is the crime? I've always said silent deception and inducement to participate. In fraud. And that is by we are the very birth registration legal name title that all capital entity that juristic person that sophisticated financial instrument that document. This is why I hear them promote census. Why? Because it has come from the demonic side of things. This is where the people them have clarity of. Because them change up everything people don't know right from wrong. They remove law and replace it with legality. So the nowadays people totally unaware of what was, how it was supposed to be, where truth is. How them can define truth. The demonic system will perfect itself only because the people are sluggards. People choose to be entertained. And again, because of the free will, you have to allow people to indulge themselves. However, 
you know, have a problem every now and again, uh, you know, reiterate the fact that we are not your slaves. You people are foreign to us. Hence, the Roman census. The decline of etymology as a linguistic discipline. Now, we say etymology. Etymology is a study of the origin of words and the way in which their meanings have changed throughout history. So we'll look at the word census, which is a noun, 1610, in reference to registration and taxation in Roman history. So I want to say where the registration and the taxation are derived from. My people here on this island, we call Zamayaka, now called Jamaica. This is the way it originated. So when you see these pawns, political puppets in front of you, spewing out their fallacies, then without foundational information, you will be carried away. So it's uh, 1610. Remember, I know the invading foreigners invade this location in the 1400s, specifically the West Indies area now called. And these were the Spanish kind. And from the Spanish kind derived the British kind. In 1655, Spanish kind came here in 1494, 1492 in Haiti. 1494 on this island. This is how the map discovery day. That's where they plant the, the, the flag, the tribe enter in a different port, but you know, what kind of rebuff that. However, because of them foreign war machine, you know that go. So when the Spanish came by 1509, they established themselves and called this location Santiago. This is a very Spanish. Yeah, mixed with the Moors of Spain, I will tell you it's two different hemispheres. People will look just like us, not necessarily being us. When these Spanish invaders couldn't really maintain themselves, that's when the British side, same people, from a different angle came. And we are still under the British so-called rule or governance to this day with a British head of state, Governor General's office. And once you see it's a military designation, it is a military designation, then it's in fact a military occupation of the people. Hence, this makes the people prisoners of war. This is just basic logic. The head of state is a governor general, then you're under military occupation because that head of state represents our represent a foreign crown. These are basic logic, my people. You know, for being a theorist, a rocket scientist, you know what I mean? Are none of these scholarly, you know what I mean, terms being used out there. It's just basic logic. All of these foreigners are come with the very same foreign system, the very same Roman political system, Roman economical system, Roman religious system. It's, it's all foreign to us around here. All of it. I would now go excuse the fact that there is that foreign congress on the mainland directing and dictating a whole bunch of things. 
We have documented evidence which shows uh, clearly these people are migrate from one location to the next location. And it's documented not in uh, how much thousand years ago. This is like all of the information from 1492 when they start their colonization and their invasion into the Americas. People chose to, you know, excuse this elephant in the room, which is this foreign congress. And it's foreign people who has invaded like locusts this hemisphere where we as a people have always been and will always be. So when them talk about census, this is how them, you know, a perfect their craft, yeah, their wizardry. So it's uh, 1610, in reference to registration and taxation in Roman history from Latin census, the enrollment of the names and property assessment. You can say assessment meaning to evaluate or meaning to give an account of, of all Roman citizens. So you have to be a citizen of the government of Jamaica for them to do all of these things. And for a man like me, where from me say, hey, this is it, it's, it's in writing, but they must talk it for not try to interpret it any other way. This is it, this is your provision, and this is what I have done. I renounce my Jamaican citizenship of no interest in that corporate body politic. You see that? This is how I remove whatever interest them I bring forward on paper. So whatever them are talking about in a federal agency, it shall always be rebuttable. Always. So they are them have to know these little nuances. So it's the originally past participle of sensory to assess. Now, A, the modern use of census as official enumeration of the inhabitants of a country or state with detail. This thing begins in the U.S. in the 1790s, 1790, and the re revolutionary France in 1791. So this thing starts on the mainland there. So I'll go on. When it come over here, this is where it starts, 1790. And remember, I share the information at about 1763 proclamation. This is before 1776, so-called independence. So we are trying to say the British are governing things from that time. And remember, you know, the British here come out of Rome, the British here mix and mingle with this very same Persia, Persian Empire, which is Iran, these East Indians. I talk about the, them, them elites, unnecessarily the common folk. So it has show you, remember even the Bible, when it has said, one of the time it has said, boy, the angel them have a call, the angel Michael, because them they in one location here where Satan turn up strong. See him, so they might have a call upon Maria Makahel. Yeah, that one. When them say Makahel, we say Makahal. So the very same people. So when people are talk about everything else, you have to know the basic, you have to go back to the root. You have to go back to the foundation, and that's the root there. 
And this, so you're going to find the true who are the adversary. Who are the accusers. Don't let the pawns, the puppet, the minions deceive you. Get to the organized principalities. Get to the foundation of this demonic source. God the most I set him place, set him universe, and set him earth. You understand? The most I do that. And bring light into the earth. You understand? Truth in the earth. And then something happened and changed that. This is why the earth is out of course. This is why you have a word like lawful, yet them create a system what I'm called legal. And them apply legal system opposed to what is lawful that is always there, always in place. Now what is lawful is not necessarily the same as being legal. Hence, you would need two separate and distinct words. This is why we like etymology, even when they might change everything. At least we have something for use as reference or guidelines for the time being. And this is for our basic common people, specifically here in what I call the West Indies. We will underestimate ourselves. When I realize that uh, we very same West Indians, they are all over the place. Go check. Go check. And we won't allow the Pan African. And the Pan African Union to tell us that we are of African descent. There is no such thing. This is the fallacy in the earth. This is why they want only legal entities, they don't want a lawful man and woman to manifest themselves in the earth. Them always I use your persona, which is where them hypothecate in the form of a birth certificate. We call it birth registration form here on this island. It's two separate and distinct entity. Disparate. Different kind. Can't even compare. Again, step by step as we move forward, no rush here, no rush here. It's a property for taxation was the primary purpose in Rome, hence Latin census also was used for one's wealth, one's worth, wealthiness. It's a related fact, sensual. Now, the primary purpose in Rome is the very same primary purpose here in this hemisphere. And it's straight across the board. It's not restricted or limited to the island of Jamaica, now Paul. It's straight across the board. This is why I say, all I know where I propose to be anything. If you're a raster man and know you have a bird certificate, even a number somewhere, you have to. Especially if you engage out there in commerce. So you cannot function without the mark of the beast. And the mark of the beast, as they would say in old time days, is that name, that all capital name entity, the 
the birth registration legal name title. It's a title. It's actually a registered organization. That name. On the island here, I can show you the birth registration form where my name, upper and lower case, does not exist on that instrument. However, that instrument was issued to me. Why? Because it's from my birth trust. And this birth registration form is called a birth bond, which is insurance. Cure my ignorance. If I'm in error. Cure our ignorance if we are in error. Governmental agencies. Now we'll go down to number one where it has a censor. Now, this is from another 1530s. Roman magistrate of 5 C BCE who took censors and oversaw public manners and morals. From French censor and directly from Latin censor, from censere, to appraise, value, judge, from Cairo, Kens, speak solemnly, proclaim. And it goes as far as uh, Source also of, of Sanskrit. Amsati, recite, praise, song of praise. Now we go down to say, hey, they also charge. They also had charge of public finance and public works. Who have them thing that? The elite was have themselves as parliamentarian and, you know what I mean? Judges and all of these things. The transferred sense of officious judge of morals and conduct. So you know, them supposed to, uh, you know, have the place balance, have the place, you know, in line. And just they are, have the courthouse as a bank where just, you know, straight everybody are criminal. Period. <laughs> criminal until you prove yourself innocent and, you know, you can't do that. Uh, any which way, the moment them take a hold on you, it will cost you. The moment these foreign agencies capture you, it will cost you in various ways. Your whole life is affected. This is how it is, you know. And this is how the demonic system work because there are multiple systems out there. Why would there be a common law? You know what I mean? And a statutory law in the form of administrative or law of the sea, commercial, admiralty. So the commercial and admiralty law mixed together, and, you know, them just call it statutory. So why would there be so many different variations of what is called law? And the most I create him earth and put some, you know, instructions out there and say, boy, if we can live up to these standards, then everything should be okay. Why is it that a foreign people from some coal region or foreign lands, find it necessary to invade the lands of other people and usurp those other people's place within this earth. Why would there be a need for all of this? And how our people now look at the bigger picture opposed to get stuck in the, you know, mediocre. All of these laws we see it derived from somewhere we are said to come out of Rome. 
Or we are say what is lawful, we we don't have a problem or adhere to. But when you come with a you know, color of law, guise as law, with a you know, legal standard, alternatively used as rules and regulations, and then I purport it to be law when these things are for a private mess, for a satanic mess, for a demonic mess. People don't want to see for what it is. I can see it clearly all when my eyes close. Only because me and I struggle to I live it. When I die in a foreign land somewhere, you know, well secured, when nobody don't know me, no, me the inner it. When my step them say see him there, I aim that, you know. Yeah. There is no hiding place for a man such as I. I will not see none. Surely, if we come forward and say this information is light, then how we have I? There is only light dispel darkness. It's only truth make light disappear naturally. This is why I was said, uh, in my mind, you would have chose to so correct yourself and improve and become better. You now have no issue. But for I, step forward with a whole bunch of in information perpetuating lies, then condemnation for I should be sure. So we now have the information where we need, we don't know the meaning and definition of some of these words being used, then, you know, we stay confused. And when we express ourselves, we're being abused. Yet, the truth that is right there in front of all of us is being ignored. Only because of the many distractions and entertainment that is promoted by the adversary, by the demonic energy, by that specific demonic entity. Yeah, Just uh, from Latin sense, I had also a transferred sense of a severe judge, a rigid moralist, or a censorer. All of this we get from the etymological definitions. It's so from 1640s as official empowered to examine books, plays, Later flames, etc., to see they are free of any immoral or heretical, probably, contents. Now, all of that changed, guys. If you're going to the movies or you're going to the newspaper, everywhere you go is a straight immorality, and that's become the normalcy. Yeah, the immorality becomes the normalcy now. When you have immoral thinking and immoral thoughts and you want to go immoral conduct, you go in a one far place and you can't know your place and you can do that when nobody don't know about until them find out they get condemned. But now, and I'm not like that, they might bring their immorality in the public and say, everybody for acknowledge and accept it. And when you do not, then they might go say, yeah, break them private laws. You get me? And you depend on the illegal side of them legality, which all light is, you know, fallacy. All light is, you know, ungodly. This is why when a man said to your law, you just ask him, what law? Be specific. Understand? Is it divine law? Or is it a satanic law? 
There's no gray area in between speed. Is he that you chose good or evil? Is he that you chose the most uh, creator of nature or you chose the devil? Or the devil again, you know? Have a lot of, you know, say, guises. Yeah, man. The devil will manifest like the angel of light. And the devil will manifest as the angel of darkness. Who can quote scripture like the devil? Who? Who can demonstrate intelligence? Intellect? Like that demonic entity. Which one are you out here? Most of want to learn out there, want to think when I get it from. Look at the books them want to read and see where it origin. Two energy out there, man. Like one power, you know. Yeah, is it that you chose good or, you know, evil? I want power. Yeah, the very same good in you will spoil and become evil. And the very same evil within you can correct itself and become good. That's why I'm say we are the alchemists. And also the alchemy. We the man and woman can choose. However, most of the time we become product of our degraded environment. Yeah, no fault of ours. thing is, when you choose to apply yourself, that's when you can see that light. Yeah. And when you improve yourself, you naturally can become that light. You know, I just see it no more. You become naturally. And all is a step-by-step -step process. If we are use words and are stepping our processes, that we don't know the foundation or the root thereof, then no wonder we remain drifting lost at sea for centuries. These are by the early decades of the 19th century, the meaning of the English word had concentrated into state agents charged with suppression of speech or published matter deemed politically subversive. This is how we have degenerated by people. And it's all because of the you know, said so a foreign influence. And we can use a typical example of today. There was a time where one's and one's family upon the island was so close. Where if mama cook, which mama would have been grandma, you get me, or even mother. But if mama cook, one pot, the pot there, I cook for about all who are and a family member, I eat from the very same pot. This is where we are come from, you know, our unity, you know, when they talk about the village, you know. You get me, what they might call community now, you know. When you the right here saying so your village, and you're picking the way up the road, all two miles. From your place. Your picnic is still at home. Why? 
because the people them in the very same village we up there so secure your child like them very own look out for your child like them very own feed and take care of your child like them very own what change what change this thing so i will start mingling with people when i look like we and them have different views different concept different ideology them have different eating habits them have different sexual habits and these things bring change in our environment right now upon this island everybody is concerned for them safety because them not have a rich them can't just step out a road or go to them work don't have a any more than them bus parts to get to work and some craziness are going out there accidentally them get caught up in it so it not have to be directly a man of Arabia and hurt you indirectly because of the environment or the atmosphere everybody you know is concerned about them safety this is all degenerated we have become yeah no. number two sir excise is a noun meaning tax on goods it's at the late 15th century foreign people and bring them thing around here you know? all these taxes in the people yeah from middle dutch exhaust early 15th century, apparently altered from axios, who um, pronounce it according to them, you know, and it is tax, by influence of Latin, excisus, cut out or removed. See excise, a verb, traditionally from old French, excises, tax or assessment. From vulgar Latin, accessium, ultimately from Latin, ad, meaning to, see ad, plus, census, tax, tax census. English got the word and the idea for tax or taxation from Holland. <laughs> and Holland are the very Dutch people, eh? All another same Neanderthal, Neanderthal, Netherlands people, eh? the very same one we start, the West Indies and the East Indies, you know, slave companies. This is the same Holland, these foreign people. So when we talk about not being racist, cannot be, uh, you know, when you are talking about it's just that. Now, I've nothing to do with no race. Now, no race. Sis. Now, no race. Sis. It's a joke. Yeah, man. Number three is a civil adjective. Late 14th century. Relating to civil law or relating to civil life. It go on to say pertaining to the internal affair of a state. From old French, civil, civil relating to civil law, 13th century, and directly from Latin, civilis, relating to society, pertaining to public life, relating to the civic order, befitting a citizen. Hence, by extension, popular. Affable, courteous, alternative, adjectival, derivative, of civic, pounds, man. Well, let me think I go back to citizen, city, citizen, yeah. civic, meaning, 
not barbarous, civilized, is from 1550, specifically relating to the Commonwealth as secularly organized. They say how powerful the Commonwealth is from evil back that time, as opposed to military or ecclesiastic by 1610s. Meaning relating to citizen in his relation to the commonwealth or to fellow citizens also is from 1610. Like all this. We have to look upon the definition of these things. The word civil has about 12 different meanings. It is applied to all manner of objects which are perfectly disparate. And disparate means right here, essentially different in kind, not able to be compared. Word used, sentence used. They inhabit disparate worlds of thought. A separate and distinct world of thought. No different from the juristic entity, which is the birth registration form, that piece of paper. Come on. A, as opposed to criminal, it means all law, not criminal. As opposed to ecclesiastic, it means all law, not ecclesiastic, we are talking about civil. You know. As opposed to military, it means all law, not military, and so on. The sense of polite was in classical Latin, but English did not pick up this nuance of the word until late 16th centuries, and it is it has tended to descend in meaning to meeting minimum standard of courtesy. Virtuous is thus more commonly said of superiors, civil, of inferiors, since it implies or suggests the possibility of incivility or rudeness. Civil literally applies to one who fulfilled the duty of a citizen. It may mean simply not rude or observant of the external courtesies of intercourse or quick to do and say gratifying and complimentary things. Courteous literally express that style of politeness which belongs to the courts. A courteous man is one who is gracefully respectful in his address and manner. One who exhibits a union of dignified compliance and kindness. The word applies to all sincere kindness and attention. We're going to touch upon what's this? Civil cases as opposed to criminal are recorded from 1660s. Civil liberty. Natural liberty restraint by law only so far as necessary for the public good by the 1670. So your natural liberties has been restrained. By private law or statutory law or commercial foreign law, Only so far as necessary for the public good. This is what I'm always come with. So this is from the 1640s. This is when the foreigners come here and implement all these new systems and change to get to this point now. So irrespective of what is being said. Now I'm not it's, uh, you know. I use what is there in the public. 
domain in the public arena and present the very basic information where a simple logic with reasoning yeah from it now follow from it now flow from it now match up then we can ignore it so when you talk about citizen citizenry census civil civilian all of these things are ancient roman edifice being imposed on us as a people here this is why our judicial system where i said chief judge honorable justice banks would say the magna carta don't apply to us as a people only because we are african descent i really i paraphrase it when you get the book you can get your own you know interpretation from it so when him say it that way it's like this is what they use as the blueprint them label you african or african descent so them can usurp your place is this not what we have been saying from we step out here we are fire bond to this foreign system we have the inherent right to be free we have the inherent right of movement they call it freedom of movement we have the inherent right to our own identification it's called self-identification self-determination we don't need a politician or no political entity to re again present us here we don't need that. We don't consent to these activities. Them thing that we are saying, not business within a personal life and live, but when we not going to interfere with mine or others, then that's when people can draw the line and say, what is good for you? Not necessarily good for me. What may applies to you doesn't necessarily apply to me. Your legal standards alternatively used as rules and regulations are in fact your policy which do not apply to me. This is a distinction, you know. When we can look at the agency for what it is, others may yeah, have problem doing that. Step by step out the people. Again, the brave may fall but never yield. We say bold and brave, firm and strong. Salute to the organic subscribers again, step by step. Yeah, man. Uh, this information, you know, as always, uh, this island round here, yeah, unique. Yeah, man. And we are chant this way, not just yesterday so we do give thanks to know some more yeah as we move forward knowledge of increase and information of flow from all angles so it's a step-by-step -step process yeah man it will always be just a Salute out there, free people. Let's choke 
rain, though the heavens may fall, let your rain 